Hi, I'm Sarah Shadrach. I teach second grade social studies and ELAR at Ingram Elementary. Currently, I'm in my second year of teaching. I've learned an awful lot since I started teaching. I use technology a lot in my own classroom. I'm also the technology person for my grade. I work with some people who are less technologically adept than I am, and I've had the fortunate opportunity to be young and to have had technology around me my whole life. So I am in a unique position to understand and be able to use and implement technology in the classroom better than some of my peers. So um, today we're talking about the nine ways that technology can transform teaching and learning. Out of these nine ways, the ones that I personally use the most are project-based learning and social or group learning. I use both of these in my classroom regularly. My favorite to use is project-based learning, but there's a lot of prep that comes with project-based learning that I don't always have time to do in the classroom. However, I use social or group work all the time. Almost every day I use social or group work. A lot of these kids are missing some of the social aspects that they would have been taught during COVID, but some of these kids were online um, and we're not getting these social skills that they normally would be getting taught either in the classroom or at home. The masks also played a big part in this. Um, I'm still teaching second graders how to read each other's facial expressions because the masks had something to do with that developmentally. So um, in my classroom, project-based learning, I use it all the time for hands-on learning experiences. Technology can serve as the catalyst that propels traditional projects into dynamic and interesting interactive adventures. For instance, when exploring ELR concepts, students don't merely read stories, they become storytellers and they make video projects and we use Book Creator, which is an app on, can, on, on Clever that the kids can access and they can make their own interactive books with sound and video and audio visual elements to really enhance the story and to make them take ownership over the, their project. The beauty in technology lies not only in engaging them, but it also helps them to understand and create deeper connections to the subject matter. Uh, Project-based learning also um, addresses the crucial need for social skills. Um, we do a lot of social and group work in my classroom, which helps these second graders to learn the social skills that they are desperately missing. Um, this also erases geographical boundaries. Um, many times my second graders and I will take interactive field trips, which can be done through technology. They offer digital interactive field trips for several different things. I've seen a few on the Egyptian tombs. I've seen some for the Louvre, the museum in France, but there are a million out there. You just have to go looking for them. This really allows my students to be able to mess around and to be able to learn while the content is interactive, but they're still learning the things that they're actively interested in. This also, um, doing social work and group work allows students to foster a sense of community. I have a really strong classroom community in my own classroom and the discussions that students are able to participate in are able to become deep and in-depth because of those social skills that are being taught. In this digital age, it's important to recognize that technology is not just a tool for academic enhancement. It's a vehicle for nurturing well-rounded individuals. As we talk more about project-based learning, technology, and social group work, um, I'd like to be able to learn some different ways to inspire and get my students engaged with technology in my subject and content area. So, that's all. Um, I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Um, just let me know.